Whether you're a seasoned player or just starting out, Squad Busters has a lot of details that can easily fly right over your head. So today we're uncovering 13 things you probably didn't know about Squad Busters to test your knowledge. Did you know that the mysterious wizard that lurks at the top of the Plaza Castle has a name? We've been duped. No, it's not Paula, although we all know it secretly is, but his name is actually Mr. S. And yes, that's a dude. So what do you think the S stands for anyway? Clicking the goblin in the plaza will sometimes give you some free coins. Talk about easy money. And since we're already talking about the goblin, Squad Busters is the first time ever in the Clash universe that we see goblins speaking a foreign language. Any guesses which language they speak? At Evolution 3, if you look closely, the heavy doesn't actually have one giant buck tooth like his model would have you think, but it's his beard that's getting a slightly grayer color coloration, making it look like he got some really bad dental work done. Good luck on seeing that. Every time you defeat a player in a match, they drop a regular chess key that makes unlocking your next chest 100% VAPA. That's free and finish. It can sometimes be hard to spot in all the chaos of fighting an opponent, but don't forget to pick it up to grow your squad that much faster. Just like in Mario Kart, the worse you're doing in a match, the greater your chance of pulling a mega unit as a lucky find in a chest. For every 100 gems you're behind the first place player, you increase your chance by 1%. Also, for every 10 troops less than the biggest squad, you increase your chance by an additional 1%. It's almost like the game's cheering for the underdog. Although you can't make them currently in the game, Squad Busters will eventually have a club-like system to team up with other players called Alliances. The dev build currently shows the feature as available to be activated, but unfortunately, like trying to download free gems from Twitter, it just doesn't work. Only time will tell what we can do with these alliances, but when they drop, it's gonna be lit. Did you know you could aim your spells? Shocker, right? But you'd be amazed how many people actually miss this feature. You're not forced to just tap a spell and place it wherever the game deems fit. You have control over your squad busting destiny and can actually aim the spell wherever you want it to go. If you wanna cancel the spell without wasting it, drag all the way to the edge of your screen and the spell will go gray, canceling it. No harm, no foul. Squad Busters is the first game to globally release since Brawl Stars all the way back in 2018. Six games had to bite the dust for this star to rise, so let's pour out some elixir for all the brave gaming souls that passed away in order to make Squad come to life. Fingers crossed it actually survives. Epic units will only appear during the final stretch portion of a match when there's one minute remaining. But cut them some slack, they're a little shy at first so that the early game can be better balanced. During the final minute, the epics come out to play, giving players a shot at glory in the last moments of a match. Who do you think is the strongest epic unit currently in the game? There are seven troop types in Squad Busters, each with its own flair. All-Rounder, which is the most balanced of the unit types. Attacker, which do higher damage but have less health. Defender, they protect the squad with massive health. Speedster, which give movement boosts. Healer, which heal your squad. Supplier, which gets more loot and helps build squads. And Megas, which are the most powerful units in the game. Combining all of these different types, the possibilities are endless for building the most deadly squad. Did you know that in a match you can open your battle bag to gain an advantage once per minute? Think of your bag as a magician's hat, but instead of rabbits, you're pulling out keys on keys. In your bag, you can choose from a regular key, an epic key, or a fusion key to gain a quick advantage during a match. Keys are only earned through the gem pass or the squad journey track, so treasure them just like you do your mother on Mother's Day. See those little circles above your unit's head? They're not just for show. If your unit has two circles above their head, that means that one is for its health and the other is for charging up its super ability. The way you can charge up their super is by busting enemy units during a match. As soon as the super meter has been filled, get ready to clap your enemies harder than a group of seals during feeding time at the aquarium. Squad Busters makes teaming up with friends easier than ever. Down here at the bottom is a little button that will generate a QR code invitation to your party. No more typing party codes like it's the dark ages. Just scan the code and get the party started. So how many did you get? Leave your comment below and show off your massive brain to the rest of the squad family.